did. I joined you like 10 minutes later and you was muted on TeamSpeak. Oh, so yeah, I yeah. Just was inside the game. Anyway, uh, let me switch off the music. 10 seconds to go, guys. Gonna be game two. Doubt versus LP10. One. Zero for doubt at this moment. And let's take a look at the map. It's Loch Ness. Loch Ness. So Loch no Ness. clear no clearance as people were um were um we're sending rumors around that it would yes, be clearance. Probably it's no so it's no clearance this time. And LB ten went for Goths. Martin, Goths on a pure water map. So this and is he picked the map. And he picked the map, indeed. So he <laughs> probably LB10 picked the map. So he probably has got a very strange strategy in mind at this point. I couldn't think what it could be. Um, but I don't know, Martin. Uh, I'm very puzzled by this decision so far here by, uh, by uh, LB10. Um, maybe we will find out well, soon you enough. Only, you can only think similar to you've seen on others. It's like fast castle fire ships. Anyway, uh, before I go on talking about the maps, let's let the viewers know what is different to those uh, to these two civilizations on the balance patch. And I will start with um, with Koths that's being played by Mr. LB10 here at the south uh, left side of the map. And not much has been different. Okay, okay, Martin. So this is the deal. Fire ships cost minus 20% wood. Fire so ships. you were correct. Fast castle fire ships. You were completely correct. So probably that's what he's gonna go. That's what he's gonna aim for. It's gonna aim for fast castle and fire ships. Uh, because we do know Vikings do not get fire ships. And um, another difference for the Goth player is that they lose trade mill crane. Um, for the Vikings, um, Vikings cost minus 10%, minus 15%, and minus 20% in Feudal Castle and Imperial Age, respectively, instead of um, minus 20%, so the uh, less now. I mean, the increase, uh, the cost has been a little bit increased. The team bonus changes to Docks cost minus 15% instead of 25%. Berserks, Elite Berserks base HP becomes 55, 65 instead of 48 and 60 HP. Berserk Gang, that's the elite, uh, that's the unique technology. Cost has been reduced to 500 food and 500 gold. And Longboat's base cost is now 90 wood and 40 gold instead of 100 wood and uh, 50 gold. And they do get trade mill crane. So these are the changes introduced by the balance patch that is being played in this tournament. Balance patch created by Carlos Ferdinand and John Mendel. So, Martin, time to talk L a little bit about the maps. Let's uh, talk LB about LB10. Just, yeah, just to let LB10 has gone. He's gone off scouting the other side. He hasn't even found his second ball. And I, I don't know if he will find it for a while. Oh, he might just spot it if you look. You're very true. Just That's... every now and again. Oh, no, he probably saw it He's before gone. and it just ran back. No, he can see it now. He can see it now. So the, the boar probably just ran into the fog of war, but he had seen it. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, he's getting it now, so all good for him. Um, the dock placement, Martin, I think they went down at roughly the same time. Uh, if I was checking these... At least... The... Yeah, at least LP10 is going to go fast castle while making a dock, though. So it'll <laughs> yeah, make, yeah. <laughs> it'll make doubt start to digress and go... Go galleys. Yeah, so we've Dal seen others try and do this strategy with no dock at all, which is just crazy. Yeah, that would be crazy indeed. So doubt probably won't find out about the fast castle until later. Uh, so that's that's a good job here. Well, anyway, doubt looks like he wasn't looking at this villager, starting to collect from one sheep. That's probably not what he was aiming for. And um, one fishing boat comes out from doubt here. What about LB10? LB10 uh, roughly I, the same. So I think um, pretty much the same so far. LB10, Martin. LB10. I don't think he spotted that boat, Nelson. He should have gone by now. Oh wait, he should have gone and he hasn't. He that was the scout first. all the way back. Oh, correct. Yeah, he hasn't spotted that boat. That was. So that before one... he went off looking for doubt, he should have got his all his stuff first. That's just just bad play. But where is it? Where is it actually? I can't see it. I can't see it's a below his more. TC, just outside of the tree line. I told you he couldn't see it. He's now still hunting for it. Look, he's going berries already. I didn't see the boar. Where the hell is it? Am I blind? It's under his TC. Underneath his... He took highlight. He got me. 
Yeah, you took it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. No, it's all good. Anyway, <laughs> that manages to click up to feudal age. Uh, that was a very fast click. Oh my god. Our no, actually, it wasn't that much of a crazy click. I correct myself. Eight LB minutes. Ten zero squint. five. He's gone extra vil. He still hasn't clicked. Up. Yeah, so he's probably gonna wait still a little bit longer. Yeah, he's gonna go for loom, and only then he will click because if he wants to go fast castle, that's what people he's fast usually castle. do. Fast yeah, castle. Yeah, if that's what his plan is, that's what we are assuming here uh, by picking goths. Let's see if oh, that's gonna work for him. Fast, definitely 100% fast castle fireships. Yes, yeah, so 100%. That's the up click here for. LB10, that was uh, quite quite a fair bit later, as we just mentioned before, and he does he does need to do a, a little bit of a later click if he wants to go straight into Castle Age and not stay on Feudal, as Doubt is probably going to do going to do at the beginning. As you can see, Doubt already on two docks, making the third one. Even what about LB10? Yeah, he's not concerned about docks at this point. He just uh, wants uh, the docks for the fishing boats. He can maybe do a third fishing boat apparently he thinks that's not going to be worth it he's uh he only stayed on two well he he's guessing he's going to lose all his fishing boat but i'm surprised he did, still didn't make the four because he, he certainly yeah, because, could have and yeah, yeah look at run, the resources run for a while and he'll get food yeah, yeah. look at the resources martin I, would, i'm not he... liking this very go very well for lb10 doesn't look to me like he's uh, even nearly going to have enough food to go to uh to go to a castle ah, you'd be let's see you'd let's be surprised see. though he's on He's on deer. He's, I don't think he's farmed enough though. And he's now putting down two farms. He should have gone four fishing boats and potentially a couple of farms as well. But he's gone for the deer instead. But yeah, I we'll still see. think he'll be short. How's that going to work for him? Anyway, Dalb moving in with its galleys. And he won't be matching a huge, um, a huge position here from LV10. LV10 only on two fishing boats. No galleys whatsoever. Um, still, Dalb doesn't feel comfortable. He's waiting for the third one, apparently. And uh, he will find out now soon enough that LV10 is not interested in fighting this on Feudal Age. Uh, that's one fishing boat that's going to go down for LV10 anytime soon now. He's running back with them. You can run, but you can't hide. That's going to be what Doubt is thinking right now. Yeah, Doubt is trying to I scout think... for another dock, but you won't find any, Mr. Doubt. No. And right. I think LB10 is going to rule the fact he only made two fishing boats as well, not four. So he could have he could have had all his food and clicked up by now. Yeah, indeed, that's what I thought. He's hurting a little bit for food, food now. Maybe when these villagers come in, yeah, there we go. He's going to be able to click up to castle and to, yeah, there he does. There he goes. And to be fair, this is actually a pretty fast castle age time uh, with 30 population. This is actually very fast. So let's see if he. Um, for me, the problem now, Martin, uh, is where will he build the docks? Because uh, I'm gonna assume that Doubt will be all over the shoreline. Won't... So um... yeah, but he won't need. He won't necessarily need to build too many more docks at the moment, will he? He can start storing the fire ships inside that dock. For 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 Doubt to take down that dock is gonna be Think's... ages. Things gonna take long. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, be ages. And then he can st he can stick another villager up around the top or down below to put one dock up while he's making. While he's making um, fires, garrison them. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, Doubt is just so experienced. Uh, he knows LB is not planning on Go Galley, so he just starts doing more fishing boats. He's, he's now on, how many are those? Four, eight, nine, nine fishing boats. So this is gonna give his economy a huge boost, a huge boost over here. And uh, he probably will be able to clip, uh, click anytime soon as well. Anyway, go back to LB10. Um, this stock is still there. This stock is still there, so that's good for him. I do think you will need a second one, though, Martin. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think you will need a second one. <laughs> yeah, he will. Yeah, yeah, he will. But he can. What I meant was he can start making the second one while he's while he garrisons a fire. Yeah, indeed. Inside this one dock. Indeed. So at least you will be able but to get two to... fire, two fire, bo uh, fire, fire ships from this dock. It looks to me. Anyway, Castle Age here, 15 minutes 50, so a nice fight, a very nice job here by LB10. Uh, this is the time where uh, yeah, we will see, is this uh, strategy going to pay off or not? <laughs> but he needs another dock, he needs the dock. Oh no, I agree, I completely agree, he needs a second dock because... He needs that dock, oh no, come on, go boy, go. And he needs at least two fire ships, yeah, maybe even a third, if he actually wants to take down all of those galleys from Doubt. 
Uh, he's making a second one right now. Uh, Doubt is now trying to destroy that dock with all the villagers. Oh, Martin, we missed it. There's a second dock here at the south. Um, Down the bottom, man. Yeah. Doubt is just, just now discovered it. So this is actually going not too bad here for LB10, in my opinion. He's running back with his two fire, <laughs> fire ships here to the other dock. And he will probably... Try to go aggressive now, Martin. How do you think this will go? He needs he needs to be a little bit careful though, because Doubt's gone land and gone straight onto archers. Is he? Yeah, he is. But LB10 yeah, closed. Yeah, well, on he's time. siege. Yeah. Yeah, he closed and he went siege with the score. So that's actually very well played by LB10 here. He's moving in aggressively now on uh, Delt. Let's see. Will he go straight or will he still wait a little bit? He does have a fifth one here. He's got it. He's moving them in. I'm very, very, very curious yeah, to see. He's got to go. How will this fight go for him? Uh, he's going. Does he know where Delt actually is? Yeah, he does know where the docks are. So he uh, can go he just straight to, away. He has to take. If he doesn't take Doubt's galleys now, then once Doubt did Castle Age, just, just bye bye fires, I think. Yeah, why is he taking the huge, the huge turnaround? I'm not, I don't understand this. I don't know. Yeah, is he trying to be he sneaky needs to about fight this? Army, not his fishing boats. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Okay, he's moving in. They're gonna see each other now. This is gonna be the first big fight. LB10 moving in. Let's see who's gonna win this fight. Doubt trying to micro this as good as he can. He is, uh, he still didn't lose a single one. Hey, uh, LB10 is taking two boats to just kill the fishing ships. I'm not sure about this idea. And oh, you can see it wasn't very good. No, Doubt, I don't like that. Yeah, Madoubt managing to micro this like a pro. Killing, already destroying two of the he fire knows. ships. He keeps moving them back and firing. He only lost one mod That's so far. crazy. Why go for fishing ships? He knows at 20 minutes, yeah. Doubt's going to be Castle Age anytime soon. I don't understand Why this Why go for the fishing ship now? Yeah, I, I, I agree 100% with you. Why not go for the galleys first? The fishing boats are no problem at this stage. The galleys are a problem at this stage. So I, 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 I'm oh, not sure. It. You can forget... You can forget the fast... You can forget the fast castle <laughs> fire now. You may as well... <laughs> yeah, you may, may as well literally say... Yeah, I don't want to be a negative, but you may as well say GG right now. <laughs> you yeah, needed well. to beat the feudal army. Well, it was a funny strategy. It could have worked. Maybe against someone less skilled than Doubt, it would have worked. Because Doubt was just microing like crazy, as you could see. He did a really awesome job over there. Uh, but against someone like Doubt, um, these kind of funny strategies are not going to pay off. And, and in our opinion, LB did a, did a huge mistake there by trying to snipe off the fishing boats from Doubt when he had no need to do so. Uh, so yeah, I don't blame LB going. Fast castle fire ships against doubt viper people like that. You may as well. What's the point trying to crush war? There's, there's no no benefit in there. Is yeah, there? if you try to go standard, go they're in. just gonna beat you with experience, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. Fast castle fires was a move, but it's just made some mistakes with it. And doubt in now yeah, as well. Yeah, doubt in archers. with a few archers. He used his galleys to uh, to just kind of destroy that those palisades around there. Moving in with his archers. Uh, looks like he won't have much of a place to attack, to be honest. LB10 is there with uh, with a scorpion. LB10 is there with a mangonel. And doubt does not have crossbowman upgrade just yet. He's still trying to search for a place to, uh, place to hit. He won't find many though, so no problem. Uh, um, is Dell seriously gonna try to micro this against uh, Scorpion? No, he's not. He loses one of those archers. He's gonna lose more eventually. Oh, nice shot there by the Mega oh, killing two of a uh, uh, two for nothing. So that's that's a nice job here by LB10. I do wonder what will Delt do now? Just boom, just boom, he just and, boom. Uh, get to He'll hero. Boom. He's not even. Yeah, he's not even doing the crossbow upgrade. He's yeah, just indeed. Booming. Indeed, he's just very chill. Uh, well, to doubt now. Yeah, he knows he's completely 100% safe. He's had a nice fish boom. He's got complete control of the water. He's He's got the safety on the side where his archers are. His job done is boom away for doubt now. Correct. That's probably going to be his plan from now on. He's on two TCs, as you can see. Uh, he could even add a third one. He's not doing so at this point. Um, but the, the economy on the water is just going to be so huge. Anyway, LB10 trying to be sneaky here with another fire ship is going to maybe going to be able to take down one. That there it goes. Maybe a second, maybe a third. If Doubt doesn't come back with a few galleys, let me see. Is Doubt going to be going to be concerned about this? Hey, it looks to me like he's sending home a few of his war galleys. LB10 still trying to chase down this fishing boat. That's the second going down. So um. Well, nice sneak attack here, Martin, right? So that's what LB needs to do. Uh, try to bo boom himself while doing this kind of uh, s uh, 
sneak attacks uh, here and there, right? Um, this fire ship won't leave for, uh, won't well, leave for long, though. Go ahead. Doubt's got 64 vills, those 11 fishing ships, and LB10 is 58 vills. Yeah, so indeed. So uh, LB10 is ahead on the villager count, but yeah, do bear in mind, Doubt is on 11 fishing boats, and those are more valuable when it comes to food gathering than any villager, of course. And it looks like another fishing boat is gonna go down here for Doubt before clearing it with the galleys. And that's that's it. That's it for the water for LB10. Maybe Doubt should consider trying to. No, yeah, he Doubt's... did. He destroyed the, the, the. Doubt's ready to click. He's ready to click Imperial. Let me. He's on his way up. Yeah, he just clicked it. Clicked to Imperial He's on his now. Way up. And uh, what are... LB10 is not too far off, to be honest. He seems to have the food. He has loads of villagers queued up. Uh, still missing on the on the gold department though. And he's on three TCs, while Doubt only on two, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, Doubt only on two. Uh, LB10 on three, so probably that villager difference is going to increase. Um, but yeah, I've... <laughs> when Doubt gets into Imperial Martin, when uh, he upgrades those war galleys to galleons, maybe he's going to do it to have more range here at the coast. And when those arbalists start moving in with Rams, what can our friend LB10 do? I don't know, I think they're gonna go castle and go berserk or something, because he's he's heavy fishing boats. If you look, he's dropped extra docks and every one of them is producing fishing, so he's going heavy food. You might be to right. go heavy food. He's either he's either going champions or he's going berserks. You may be right, because he's not doing and any I would archers. Say berserk. Yeah, he's not doing any yeah, archers. Look at look at Mount look at the amount of people he's got on stone as well. He's definitely going berserk. It might, it might be very well right here. Yeah, and there we go. Doubt uh, now upgrading the plus one attack for the military, as you can see here on the dashboard, on our, on our amazing dashboard. That's a new feature on Vobly, developed by Happy Leaves. We are so thankful for that he has done this amazing, amazing feature. Yet another one coming in in the last times to AOC. And one castle is down. Martin Berserk has been done there, so... Our 2K commentator here, Mr. Tef, was right once again, and um, he's got a few villagers over there at the right side. Doesn't look like he's building anything over there, uh, but probably just wants to have some control of what's happening on that side. Probably he's gonna wall everything there to make sure he doesn't get a sneak attack there. Oh, well, looks like LB10 wasn't happy to see <laughs> that Doubt managed to get to Imperial Age even before minute 30. And he acknowledges the situation. There's no chance for him to come back from this game. That's the 2-0 for Doubt. Um, yeah, we can't say it was hard. Um, the difference in uh, skill was very high. We knew that. But LB10 did his best. He uh, manages to hold on for a very long time in the first game. And uh, in the second game, Martin, a nice strategy, a nice idea, and maybe if uh, if better executed, that could be that could be successful. Maybe against someone who's not prepared, Martin. What do you think? Yeah, well, we've seen. We, yeah, we definitely we've seen that um, work with Byzantines. They've gone fast castle fire ships. Yeah. Um, we saw Vike, um, Warrior, mm -hmm. and Vike FS player, and it, and it worked really well. But you 